Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris with eFoil Miami. I'm here to show you how to charge your Wayview Flyer 1 smart battery with your fast charger. So, you have it plugged into the wall. You can see the solid blue lights right here. All we're gonna do is plug it into the back of the battery. And then we have our magnet on the remote where it should be. And so all we're gonna do, we're gonna swipe the magnet on the pairing button. Boom, switches from solid blue to blinking blue. That'll take about five seconds to switch from blinking blue to doo -doo -doo -doo, blinking green. You'll hear the fan turn on, it's starting to charge. Uh, your first charge probably takes a little under like hour, 40 minutes because uh, your battery does come uh, with a little bit of a charge on it. As you can see, it's blinking uh, one light here and one light by the power button. The one light means it's probably, you know, less than 10, 15, 20% charged. And when it's four lights all lit up, it'll be completely charged. Your indicator lights will go from blinking green back to uh, solid blue or solid, solid green. But if you do run into an issue with the power surge, It'll switch from blinking green to solid red. Red's never good. Unplug it, restart it up, maybe try a different outlet, and then just finish your charging. Your first charge, try to do a full charge. Don't unplug it. Full charge, full, full draw out of the battery. One other thing to consider as well, if you don't use your battery for a while, there's a new safety feature which actually drains the battery. You'll see it blinking with one light consistently as it's just sitting there. It's not an issue. It's there for safety um, to drain your battery so it's not just sitting there with a full charge. Um, nice little safety feature they do have. All right, so I'm gonna wait about a, a minute or say like a, an hour and 40 until this thing's fully charged up. We're gonna go hit it. I waited, looks to be charged. It's solid blue, meaning it should be fully charged. So we can unplug it. And if you really want to check, you can check the battery level by just swiping with your magnet on the power button. What we have here one, two, three, four solid blue lights lighting up. And if you don't use it for a while, don't be alarmed if you do see a light blinking here. Uh, this one light. Uh, all that is doing, it's a little safety feature, it's essentially bleeding the battery out. Uh, just again for safety, um, so nothing you know that you don't want to happen to your battery happens. So uh, again, just for the safety. Uh, last thing to note is when the battery is not connected to the board, it will not turn on. It will not make any noises. Uh, none of that nature. The only thing you can do when the battery is by itself not plugged in is just checking to see the battery level, nothing else. And thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more instructional videos on how to do everything with your Wave. Um, peace out. Chris Bywerk, eFoil Miami.